What's happening good people? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing this. Now this is a Loris and I always forget the model number but it's uh, printed on the back. And yeah it's a really nice affordable digital watch and in my opinion quite a little challenger for Casio. So uh, that might give you a little bit of a idea of what's uh, to come in the near future but yeah very very uh, nice little watch uh, from them so like I said watch shop uh, were kind enough to send this out doesn't have to go by but you guys know that doesn't affect my opinion you know if you're not familiar with the watch shop you know they're a massive online retailer they do not just watches as well they do jewelry and uh, accessories uh, but watches are their uh, sort of bread and butter tons of selection loads of different brands amazing customer service which is why you know, I love working with them, uh, been shopping with them years before I even started doing YouTube. And yeah, I've never had an issue with them. So, um, you know, working with them is such a pleasure. Again, link for this and their website down in the description. Uh, you won't be disappointed, guys. So anyway, back to the watch itself. And it's a really, really nice little watch. Very, very affordable too, but more on that later on. So let's take a uh, you know bit of a deeper dive into the watch itself and you know go through some of the features. So we've got this uh, really nice robust resin bezel and it is it is proper solid as well for the for the price point. So we've got a few little design details. We've got these like fur screws and then uh, these arrow designs here, which is a little bit akin to a compass and you know it's quite cool because it a little bit of uh, something different i mean i get you guys might not be a fan but you know i think it quite i quite like it It looks a little bit utilitarian and you know definitely um quite sporty too uh, in a sense so um around the edge you know you can see we've got a uh, four minute track obviously there's no hands for a minute track but you know it just um gives it a little bit more of a analog twist you can also see we've got text dot dot around as well. So we've got your start stop. We also have your reset there, which also doubles as the illumination. And then here we've got your mode and then your set. So that is for adjusting the date, the time and everything else. Side of it, you know, you've got this big bolstered bit here, where again, which is like solid resin. And then you've got your two plastic pushes, which again, you know, they feel pretty decent quality, uh, a good action to them as well. give you a little tour around it and then of course you know we've got the uh, proprietary for the strap now this strap you know you're not going to be able to get an aftermarket one just like you wouldn't with you know a casio either but yeah very very nice yeah case back so screw in and of course you know you'll be able to see the specifications already uh, but there's some more so we've got the double wave motif brushed finish in a vertical pattern and i do love uh, this design work you know, just adds to that sort of premium feel, even though it's a very, very affordable watch. So it's not the, um, I wouldn't say it's the best built watch I've ever had at this price point, but for this style of watch, you know, the quality of it is, is quite impressive. It's a sturdy feeling bit of kit. So looking at the uh, screen itself, and you know, there's uh, quite a fair bit of information. So you've got a running seconds, of course, you know, your hour and minute, water resistant, 100 meter, up in the year top left, you know, you've got your week, your day, your time, uh, sorry, your day and um, month and everything, and uh, your day and week. It's, it's quite comprehensive. So let's just uh, have a quick run through the modes that you get. So this is just your standard uh, time. You then have an alarm, and you've got a few different options for alarm settings as well. And then you've got your dual time, which is something you don't get on many affordable Casios at this price point. So you can obviously set this to a different day, different time, if you're tracking, you know, time abroad. You then have uh, your proper timer, stopwatch, and then it's back to that. So you do get quite a few different features. And of course, uh, you've got here where you can use it to set your date, your time and everything. And again, you know, you do you use your company button. So you, you press the set button, use these to adjust it and then boom, uh, when you're done. You just set it really, really straightforward and easy to use. And then here, you know, you've got your illumination. So if I just turn the light off, you know, you've got a pretty decent illumination. And, uh, you know, in my opinion, it's easily on par, you know, with some uh, with some Casios that you get. And I would even say better than a few of their more affordable ones as well. So it's very, very good in uh, in low light situations. 
I'll let the camera refocus, but yeah, it's very, very good illumination. I know it don't get pitch black uh, with the foam because, uh, you know, it tries to overcompensate for the being no light. But yeah, it's very, very good illumination. So yeah, build, design, feature set is really, really impressive. And what also, the reason for the title as well, this is better than Casio in one way, uh, more than NA, the strap. Now, Casio straps, don't get me wrong, they're really durable, but at this price point, they're not always the best. Loris, I think, have took note of that and give us a proper silicone one. So uh, with cheap Casios, you usually get a, like a quite a rugged and robust resin one, which, you know, they're fine, they're comfortable, they work well, and they're robust. This, though, is a very, very soft and playable silicone. Plenty of adjustment holes. You've got this like ridge pattern which follows the design on the watch. And yeah, really soft, really flexible. You've got this like inner ridge pattern as well. And it's so much nicer to wear. I'll pop it on wrist to show you what it wears like. It is so much nicer to wear uh, than a Casio. And you know, I might get a lot of stick for that, but having had a lot of affordable Casios, I know what Casios wear like. And this, it's, it's so much better. So I'll pop it on wrist, you know, and just show you what it wears like. So like I said, guys, cheap Casios are comfortable. Can't get away from it. But this, this is just that sort of next level above. And again, it's all down to the strap. Now, I do have another another Casio at this price point. And I, like I said, I've had loads of Casios at this price point. But I'm sorry to say it, guys. Even as a Casio fan myself, this is just better. It's um, even though it's not the most premium of silicones, it's still silicone compared to resin, and it is a lot better. It hugs really nice, but you know it's still got a lot of stretch in it. Like with Casios, I mean, you tried doing that with a Casio strap, and it don't budge. This, you know, it's got a lot of give, got a lot of flex in it. Got two keepers, you know, to keep the strap in place, and I love that it's not too long either. We a lot of cheap Casios for me, yeah, anyway, at least with my six inch wrist. The strap would be like sticking out all the way up here. That is a lot more discreet. And it's just so much more nice uh, to wear. And you don't get, you know, with a Casio sometimes, you know, you get it and it digs in uh, when it, when they have the groove uh, like this one does. But it just a lot of leaves a mark. This doesn't do that. And, you know, again, we've got plenty of adjustment holes. So it will fit slightly bigger wrist than myself. So if you've got like a, a massive wrist... Probably not going to fit you, unfortunately, but if you've got a smaller wrist than myself, then, you know, there's plenty. In fact, no, that's the other way around, isn't it? So, we'll fit smaller and we'll fit slightly bigger as well. But, again, if you've got massive, massive wrists, I don't think it'll work. And, unfortunately, because the strap's proprietary, you're not going to find an aftermarket one. So, comfort is, is brilliant. So, I mean, what's really more to say about this? You know, it's um, got some pretty decent spec. The price point is really good. It's well made. It's got some half decent water resistance as well. So, you know, you could take this swimming and it'd be absolutely fine. It, you know, it goes toe to toe with a lot of other watches at this price point. Yes, it doesn't have the brand um, cachet. Is that the word? I don't know. It doesn't have the uh, the brand heritage of Casio uh, in the digital space, at least. But Loris, you know, they've been making watches um, for a long time and under the Seiko umbrella. But yeah, they're really good underrated watches. And, you know, if you don't mind the name on the wrist, uh, the name on the watch, it's a very, very good little watch. Like I said, comfort, you know, it's light enough to not be cumbersome, but it's not too light to feel cheap. Solid, robust, you know, I've been wearing it for my daily now for, God, a fair few week, and it's not put a foot wrong. I love the dual, uh, you know, the time function, the stopwatch, and the time is great for work as well, because obviously um, in the industry I'm in, time is quite important. So having an accurate, you know, stopwatch and timer and everything is brilliant. And yeah, it's accurate too. It's not put a foot wrong. I don't know what movement's in it. By the way, I couldn't find uh, which exact module it was. But it's great. So yeah, would I get one of these over a Casio for 30 quid? Again, I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this, but I probably would. In a lot of ways, it is a lot better than Casio's. Again, you know, Casio do things uh, better as well. And there probably are Casio's at the same price point that are better than this. 
no no question. But for the Casios I've had at the price point this is, which you know you'll see on screen, it's brilliant. I really I mean it's not perfect. I mean no watch is. It's got it's got its little quirks, it's got its little issues. And uh, you know, we're one of those being, you know, the buttons aren't the nicest to press. You know, they're a little bit mushy. But other than that, again, for, for you know the price point, I think it's like 30 quid uh, last time I checked. It's a brilliant little watch. Honestly, I mean, um, I'd still love Casios, don't get me wrong. But this definitely gives them a good run for the money. So there it is, guys. Oh, and um, the crystal as well, forgot to mention that. Uh, it is domed acrylic. But yeah. Anyway, <laughs> very, very impressive. Again, link for this in the description. I would highly recommend one, especially if you don't mind not having a digital Casio on your wrist. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the, this one. Any questions, drop it down below. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.